Jack, why not? Because we're the lumberjacks strutting around. Out in Forest Grove, Oregon, the four part harmonies are singing. The Tualatin Harmony Masters are working on their performance numbers for their next show. They're super serious singers. We're here to enrich lives. President David Dobson says the four-part harmony singing started in southern barbershops. In 1938, on a rooftop in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 26 men started the Barbershop Harmony Society. In the 50s, society choirs sang their harmonies too. I want to know. The masters have been singing since 1974. They encourage appreciation of the vocal arts everywhere. Thanks to happy song. Dun. When the summer by my side to sing along. Da -ba -da -ba -doo -a -doo. To do that, they're bringing in the national award-winning barbershop quartet, Main Street. They're going to teach four-part harmony. They're going to teach a song. The kids are going to sing the song on the show. Main Street is holding a master class in several area high schools to spread the four-part harmony sound and support the arts in school. Uh, one and two and. The Concord Concert Choir at Glencoe High School is going to be a part of the class. These experienced young choral singers will be tested. I don't think it's impossible, per se. But I do say that it will be a definite challenge. It sounds super fun. It sounds challenging, of course. Yeah, I'm a big uh, proponent of the arts in high school. I'm a theater student also. If we don't have music in the schools and music in the world, to me this world is plain. Because every human has a voice, has that, that instrument. So it's a way for humans to connect with one another. I think that's maybe more important now than ever. Schools and community come together to create future ways to harmonize. In Forest Grove, Oregon, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.